Egypt, where security forces killed 16 suspected militants. The militants were killed in two separate raids in the city of Arish in North Sinai. Security forces found weapons and ammunition. This comes a day after an explosive device killing three police officers in Cairo. A militant detonated the explosive while being pursued by police. One civilian was also injured in that attack. Well, a suicide bomber killed three Egyptian police officers on Monday morning and police were following a lead for the suspect believed to be involved in a previous bomb attacks. It is the third terrorist attack in the country during the last four days. After successfully defusing a bomb near a mosque last Friday, the police have been chasing the perpetrator. On Monday night, after confirming his whereabouts, they rushed to a populous neighborhood in Old Cairo. As soon as they caught him, he detonated a bomb, killing three policemen. This is quite a mysterious attack. This individual does not appear to belong to any non-violent Islamic group in Egypt. He is not ISIL. Maybe he could be part of the violent groups that broke out of the Muslim Brotherhood or even Al-Qaeda. But there isn't much information about it. This comes at a sensitive time as Egypt approaches constitutional amendments. I think the target of this attack is to create disruptions during that political process. The suicide bomber was previously arrested as a suspect in a criminal case. A year later, he was released without any charges due to lack of evidence. When searching his apartment, the police found a large quantity of explosive material, an indication he was planning further attacks. This could be a newly created group. This suicide bomber definitely has a supporting group of other militants. This group definitely has the ability to create and detonate explosives to monitor and spy on police personnel, and this is a possibility. The explosive device was created to cause maximum damage to surrounding people. This cannot be work of an amateur. It's the third terrorist attack reported in Egypt in less than a week. On Saturday, ISIL claimed responsibility for killing 15 military personnel in North Sinai. Security campaigns against these terrorist organizations are ongoing tirelessly here in Egypt. On Tuesday morning, police forces say they have killed 16 militants in a crossfire in North Sinai. But as these militants are starting to sneak to take shelter in residential areas and create explosive labs there, it has almost become impossible to eradicate them entirely. Adil Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo.